Hello and welcome to my channel, Domaglalalek. My name is Ola and today I would like to introduce you to Pule Tifona. Another and pretty much the first uh, collaboration between Groove and Innocent World, my favourite uh, Lolita fashion brand. She comes with this awful pink door sand. hate pink. Also this hair accessory. Very well made, very sturdy. And with this bag. The bag is not as well made as the other ones. Definitely not as good as, uh, for example, H. Naoto. So, welcome Tifona, sporting her, it's called Katyusha, I don't know, uh, this hairband. She has really long hair. She was released in 2010, so she's older than Fraulein, but her uh, wig is better. I mean, it's wavy, it's long, and there are absolutely no problems with combing it. I really don't know what, what, what is like the reason for the better wigs or the worse wigs. Oh, I just don't know what, what is happening, because sometimes you can have like quite recent uh, release and it will be very bad so um, I just I'm just curious at this point I'm really curious if anything and her face up uh, eyebrows are really matched to her to her hair so they're kind of blonde hard to see and then her makeup around the eyes is brown again like Fraulein usually you would see like black eyeliner that's like the standard but I innocent world both of them have brown uh, eyeliners so I guess that's their thing she has this quite strange eye chips I don't know maybe it's just me but I can kind of see that she's going crazy so she has a little bit more of pink around her eyes and then she has this orange lips and orange cheeks the cheeks are really profound they are really big Next, let's talk about her clothes. I tied her hair so it's uh, easier for me to kind of explain it as I go. So uh, here, on her neck, you can see this ribbon and voila! You can take it off. It's a choker. Again, they love their chokers. So underneath that you have the same color as the ribbon. Uh, you have the blouse with pearls as buttons, posing as buttons, they are not really buttons. Uh, so you have a lot of this laces kind of things in here. And if you take the one piece dress off, you can kind of see the whole thing. So uh, at the front it's quite standard, it's standard like this kind of blouse, but at the back you have also like this strings to kind of put it nicely uh, like corset kind of way and it's also velcro so you can take it off and back to her one piece dress uh, it's brown and green so the uh, top layer is green with this kind of iron stickers on it it's quite hard the material is hard especially when it were the iron thing is on. Then it has like this kind of layers of this brown material underneath but actually these are well just pieces of fabric sewn together to kind of look like layers and they're not really layers and there is more of this uh, kind of flowery pattern. Uh, there are three ribbons in here and also it's kind of like two uh, layered dress so at the top you have this kind of, it's sewn together again, here and here, and also in here, where the seam is. And it would be a nice dress for a human being without it. Like, I like this kind of uh, dresses with uh, two layers and the top one kind of do not close and kind of shows what's underneath. So this is kind of like this, but this one has white underneath there is this corsety thing again in the dress as well if you're not 
uh, careful you will see this kind of thing happening so you can see the white underneath so it's kind of it's hard to kind of put it back nicely I would have to iron it but I first of all I couldn't give uh, really much tension to it but anyway a lot of laces a lot of these details I really like it a lot of volume and underneath you have this panier two layered see-through and then the same color as the blouse you have pants lastly are these socks so they have some pattern printed on them and I don't know whether it was like that from the beginning or it's just the age of the doll so like nine years almost but the shoes are stuck to the socks so either it was intentional or it's the same deal as Brunel because it's kind of sticky I'm not sure but it's kind of sticky and the pattern itself it looks like it kind of uh, it can stick to something so I put back everything on her the her accessory her bag she looks very very spring like so what do you think about her maybe you prefer Fraulein maybe this one I actually I would really have to think about it because I like them both very much so stay tuned for another episode see you soon bye